What's up WordPress nerds? In today's video, I wanted to kind of uh, go over how you can add additional bulk actions to your admin screens in WordPress. In this example, we're going to be creating a bulk action for posts. So you can click into the desired posts in their checkbox. And then we're going to add in another option called email to me. We're gonna select that, hit apply. And then we're also going to be uh, actually emailing the uh, titles of those posts to ourselves, as well as displaying a new admin notification, letting the user know what has just happened. So very fun little thing. It touches on a couple different points in WordPress's admin, and I hope that you find this video helpful. If you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and ring the bell to make sure you get notified of my weekly WordPress videos. All right. Let's jump into it. Hey, before we get going, um, I just wanted to let you guys know that we recently hit our goal on my Patreon page um, and we have our first patron exclusive video. It's about what kind of I imagine my ideal workflow looking like. And then I challenged my patrons to um, pick out something from that workflow that we can work on it together as a group and I can make a video about it. So I highly encourage you to check that out if uh, that's something that you're interested in. But all right, let's uh, jump right into the code here. So right now I just have um, no bulk actions that are new. Um, we're going to be creating those together. Um, so let's jump over here. And so the way that you add these uh, additional items to the drop down is through a WordPress filter. And so you're gonna do add filter. And then inside of this filter, it has it starts out with bulk underscore actions, which makes sense. And then it has a dash. And then kind of after that, it is like, you need to specify the slug of the current admin screen. So my slug. Um, the Funny thing is that it's kind of hard to track those down um, until I found something on um, the code reference for get current screen. And this gentleman right here, uh, Rami, decided, decided to go and find all of those for us. So this was uh, super helpful. Uh, so these screen IDs is what can actually go right here. So that way you can select which um, uh, actions get added to which dropdowns depending on what screen they're on. So upload, edit comments, all those kind of things. Well, in this case, we're just gonna be using edit post. So if we want it to show up on the post screen, like we have right here, um, we're gonna be wanting to use the slug of edit post. And so what we can do when we have that, we just can have our function and with that function, all we need to do is just uh, take in the uh, bulk actions. So we have inside of our anonymous function, we're taking in bulk actions. And then on top of that, we are going to add, it's gonna come back as an array. So what we can do is do bulk actions, and we're going to add a new item to that array and give it a slug called email to me. And then we're gonna make that equal to uh, email to me, something a little bit more human readable. And then we are going to return bulk actions. So what that'll do is that'll just give us our item in the dropdown. It's not going to actually do anything, but it does have that item in the dropdown all of a sudden. And so after that, we need to actually pick that up. And what I originally thought when I was uh, um, creating my first uh, bulk action, I thought this would be a uh, um, an action that you would actually hook into, but it's it's a filter, which I thought was actually pretty surprising. So what we have here is we just have our filter and we're just um, um, adding it to the handle bulk actions and put giving it the same uh, slug as we did up here. And then on top of that, we're going to do handle bulk post email and then we need to give it the priority and then the number of arguments that um, it's going to take. And this is gonna take in three arguments, which we'll um, check out in here in one second. So then we're gonna have the function, this handle bulk post emails. So 
we have our function, and that function is going to take in three arguments like we saw um, up here. And the first one is going to be redirect to. Now this one is kind of the meat of the whole thing because essentially this filter is expecting a URL that to redirect to. So we will be taking in this redirect to, manipulating it the way that we want to, and then tossing it back to WordPress to redirect to that page. Um, after that, we have do action, and that's just to uh, double check to make sure that we're you doing the right action here. So this is going to end up being um, a checker to make sure that we're on the right, uh, the right action is being triggered before we start emailing things. And then finally, the things that we need to work with are the post IDs. So with those three powers combined, we can do everything that we want. So the first thing that we need to check for is, A, if we're not on um, email to me, if that's not the option that's being selected, then just go ahead and re return redirect to and um, don't worry about anything else. Um, if we need to, uh, if everything is uh, looking good so far and we are on the email to me and we wanna send some emails, we just set up a quick message of uh, blank and then for each of the post IDs as post ID, we can WP mail, not email, WP mail um, to, um, and let's get the, the mail hog. This is really nice about uh, um, local by flywheel, by the way, is that the email um, client that they just kind of give, give you right here. So, you can just copy that email uh, to dev-email at flywheel.local. And we can go back and put that in. So the to address is gonna be that. The subject line is going to be um, list of posts. And the we're not gonna do headers or attachments or anything like that. But we are going to create this message um, and then what we want to do is message dot dot equals um, the name of the post. So let's just do get the title and get the post ID to go in there. And let's also do a cup a new line so that they're only separated. Each post that we click on will get its title added to the email, and then we will send along that email. Um, and then at finally, we need to actually read, um, set up our redirect. So you can kind of think of this as in three phases is just like, check if I'm, I'm in the right place. This one is I'm in the right place. So do what I need to do. And then finally, redirect once I'm done. And because like I said, we need to return redirect to, but we need to modify it to uh, be able to do our admin notice. And so what we're gonna do is we're going to um, say redirect to is equal to add query arg, which is going to add a query arg to the URL. And we're going to say that that query arg is bulk emailed posts. And then we're gonna say that the value of that is the count of post IDs. So we're just gonna say how many that there were. Um, and so it's gonna be bulk emailed posts is equal to two or three or whatever. And we're going to say that we want to add that to the redirect to URL. So once that is built, we can just return that back. And then we will be able to get um, those emails. So let's refresh here. And then we are going to do soup is not a meal and no touching. Let's email to me. It did its thing. You can see that the query arg at bulk emailed posts is now two. Um, and then we can go back to our inbox and it was sent a few seconds ago. Soup is up, not a meal and no touching. So we've got the majority of things working here. However, we don't have the admin notice set up and I think that was best saved for last. 
Um, and so finally, we need to do admin notice, which is an action, add action, oops, admin notices, and then we're just gonna do a function, not a misfunction. And we're gonna check to see if that um, query arg exists. I'll just paste this in so I'd make you watch, watch me type it. So if that um, request is not empty, so if, uh, let's see, this thing is here, then what we need to do is we need to just uh, get the email count, see how many of those um, emails that we've got, make sure it's an it file. And then what we need to do is print out a message. And that message is the div ID of message, which is specific to WordPress, same with updated and fade. Those are things that WordPress uh, has in there that you should uh, add to your div in order to get the right coloring and things like that. And then we're gonna say emailed percent D posts to, I right, would say Alex or myself. And then we uh, pass it an email account. So we're just making sure that this is a digit and passing it in here. Um, learn printf and sprintf and all those those kind of things that makes this this kind of thing super easy and we're going to save it so let's go back to our google chrome let's just click on this to clear that out let's click on three and email to me hit apply now all of a sudden we get an admin notice with all of the uh, correct information and we should get our new email so a few seconds ago and we have our three posts so we ended up uh, getting a new item in the bulk actions drop down we uh, sent an email of that contained a list of selected posts to ourselves and then on top of that we added an admin notice to let ourselves know that the things were sent so if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment and let me know if you have any questions or, or if you have any suggestions about how this code can be changed. Um, also, I'd like to thank my patrons whose names are above right now. Um, huge shout out to those guys. They are a, an extremely friendly group of people who uh, have been supporting me and I am super grateful for that. Uh, but anyways, I appreciate you guys watching and I will see you in the next one.